So this question says that we have a wooden raft that has dimension of 3 by 3 by 1 meter. What's the maximum load that it can carry in seawater where the density is 1,020 kilograms per meter cubed? Well, if I think about this, I have my little raft. And I'm going to put some extra mass on top of it. I've got the mass itself. And I want to know how much it can carry without sinking. Well, I know that the maximum buoyancy force, max buoyancy force that I think can have, is going to be the density of the fluid times the volume of the object submerged. And if we submerge the maximum amount, the entire thing, that's going to be the maximum buoyancy force we get. And this all is multiplied by g. So this is just going to be the density of the fluid, so 1020. The volume of this is going to be 3 times 3 times 1 and times the 10 meters per second squared, and that's going to give me units of newtons. So that means that the maximum upward buoyancy force that I get is 3 times 3, so this is 90. 90 times this is going to be 90 times 1020 which is going to be the same as, let's see, 0, 0, 8, 1, yes, 91,800 newtons. That's a lot. If I divide this by G, by the 10 meters per second. So dividing everything by 10 meters per second squared, which will give me a value of 9,180 kilograms that this thing can support. Well, that looks like this number right here, the 9200. Zero, zero. However, it has to support itself. We haven't taken into account that there's two downward forces on it. There's the downward force due to the added mass, and there's the downward force due to the raft itself. And mr plus m added have to be equal or less than that value. So I need to know what the mass of the raft is, well, the mass of the raft is 3 times 3. So the mass of the raft is equal to 3 meters times 3 meters times 1 meter times the density of the object. So using the definition of density, density is the mass per unit volume. I have total mass, I have total volume. I get the density of the, the raft is going to be 9 times 150, and this is going to be in units of kilograms. So 9 times 150 is going to be 0. 9 times 5 is going to be uh, 40, 45, and 9 times 100 is 900, so this is 1350, which actually is one of my answers. So the mass of the raft is 1350. The total mass that it can support is 1900, which leaves, or 9200, which leaves us with around 7800. The difference between the two, 7800 kilograms, is going to be about what this object can support.